All right, and we have our last example, example three for this section nine five, where we are going to solve x squared minus three x equals thirty seven. Once again, this is a quadratic equation, and we know that because it has an x squared or a variable squared along with a variable that is not squared. So this is a quadratic equation, and again, if we try to use the processes we know, we will not be able to find out what x is by subtracting on both sides, dividing, taking square roots. It's not going to work. We have to use the quadratic formula. So what we have to do first is put x squared minus 3x equals 37 into standard form. Because if we notice, this equation does not look like the previous equations we have solved. In the previous equations we have solved, they have been quadratic equations. However, we had a whole bunch of stuff on one side of the equation, and it was equal to 0. And in this case, it is not equal to 0. It's equal to 37. So we have to put it into standard form. And what standard form is, if we go back to the definition of the quadratic formula, Standard form is this thing right here. It's ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Again, a whole bunch of stuff on one side, and it equals 0. That's not what we have here. So if we want to put this into standard form, we want this right here, this 37, to be gone. We want it to be a 0. So in order for us to put it into standard form, we need to subtract 37 from both sides of the equation. That will make this 0, and everything else will be on the other side of the equation. So when we do that, this is the equation we get. We get x squared minus 3x. That's exactly what we started with. But now we have a minus 37 on the same side because we subtracted 37. And now it moves to the left-hand side. And we have nothing on the right-hand side because we subtracted the 37. Now we have a quadratic equation that is in standard form. This is standard form where we have x squared plus bx plus c. And then we'll have some number. It's usually 1. Once again here it's 1 and, and for a. But we have it all equal to 0. So now we're in a position to where we can use the quadratic formula to solve this equation. So we're going to apply the quadratic formula where we know that a is 1 because there's nothing in front of the x squared, so there's a 1 there. b is negative 3 because there's nothing, there's nothing, um, or there's not nothing, there's a negative 3 in front of the x. And c is negative 37 because of the negative 37 right here. So we have those values. We're going to plug them into the quadratic formula, which will look like this. This mess right here is the quadratic formula where all of our values are now plugged in x equals negative b, because b is negative 3, so negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, whole thing divided by 2 times a. So we have this mess that we got to simplify. We're going to simplify what's inside the square root first. And this is where we want to be careful because this is where our mistakes are made. So we want to square negative 3. Negative 3 squared is a positive 9. And then 4 times 1 times negative 37, or in this case, negative 4 times 1 times negative 37 is positive 148. So this changes to a plus because we have a negative 4 times a negative 37, which makes this a positive. So that's where that positive comes from. So now we have 9 plus 148. 9 plus 148 is 157. Square root of 157? No idea. Take out a calculator. Find out what the square root of 157 is. Turns out, well, we have separated the plus or the minus here. Because notice we have plus or minus, so we have plus the square root of 157, or minus the square root of 157. So now we can evaluate what the square root of 157 is. And I don't know what that is, so we're going to use a calculator. It turns out it's approximately 12.5. This is an approximation. It's not exactly 12.5. I'm just approximating that. And then we'll have x equals 3 minus 12.5 divided by 2 also. 
So we have these two instances. This is what x could be, one of these two, because of the plus or minus. So now we do 3 plus 12.5 divided by 2, and then we're going to do 3 minus 12.5 divided by 2. If we do the plus first, we get x could be 7.75. That's approximation. I have an approximation right here because 12.5 is an approximation of the square root of 157. Type in the square root of 157, and the calculator is going to come out to be 12.5 and a whole bunch of numbers. So we round that to 12.5. And then over here we subtract, so we do 3 minus 12.5, so we get negative 4.75. So our answers for this quadratic equation are approximately 7.75 or negative 4.75.